Hello everyone, welcome back. Today's video might be, I think, one of the most helpful videos I've ever done. What I'm doing today is curating your perfect makeup kit, specifically for someone who has mature skin. Maybe you're a true beginner when it comes to makeup, or maybe you wore makeup 20, 30 years ago, you stopped, and now you wanna get back into it, but your skin has changed, and you're just not sure about which products are the best ones for you. So I'm going to show you how I fill this makeup bag. Now, I bought this bag on Amazon. I purchased the large. It does come in smaller sizes. I purchased this for my own personal use. I did not purchase it just to do this video. So I'm going to be filling up this makeup bag with every product that I think are must-haves. Basically, if you were to come to me and say, Risa, I wanna start from scratch. Can you please curate my perfect makeup bag? This is my skin type, this is my skin tone, perhaps this is my budget, but in this scenario, I'm working with an unlimited budget. So I'm just picking the products that I would give you if you asked me that question and said, Risa, the budget is unlimited. If there is a product that is high end and I have a comparable alternative, one that I would recommend in its place if it is outside of your budget, I will have that up on the screen for you. All right, so I'm curating your perfect makeup bag. What's going in first? I begin with all of your skin prep products. The first thing that's going into the bag is a moisturizer. Now, if you want to use a serum before your moisturizer, that's entirely up to you, but I decided to start this video with something I know everyone uses or should be using, which is a moisturizer. You're obviously going to want to choose one that works best for your skin type. I'm personally a huge fan of the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. I just find it works really, really well for me. I've also really been loving this one from It Cosmetic. I do have oily skin, so this lighter weight gel is one that works very well for me, but might not be enough, will likely not be enough hydration for someone with drier skin. So unless you tell me that you have very sensitive skin or you're very sensitive to fragrance, you are either going to get a Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream or you're going to get this It Cosmetics Confidence in a Gel Cream. If you have dry skin and are sensitive to fragrances, I would give you this Embryolis Moisturizer but I'd also give this to someone with oily skin who maybe wants something a little bit heavier than a gel. And then everybody is going to be getting these three products from City Beauty. The lid lifting treatment, the under eye recovery, and the plumping lip gloss. Now, why am I talking about lip gloss as a prep product? Well, two reasons. One, because I do apply this City Lips Clear Lip Gloss to my lips before I apply my makeup. And why is that? Well, it offers immediate hydration. It improves the look of the fine lines on my lips and wrinkles around my mouth. And it also plumps up my lips. A little bit later in the video, I will be showing you some of my favorite City Lips shades. Well, that's because City Beauty is once again having a buy one, get one free promotion for their lip glosses. It's such a great deal. These come in so many beautiful colors and all you have to do is place two of these into your cart and then at checkout, use my code RISA50 and you will automatically get one of them for free. They offer a 60 day money back guarantee on all of their products. So if you've been wanting to try City Lips Gloss, whether in the clear or a tinted version, now is the time to do it. So I wanna thank City Beauty for partnering with me on this video. They did reach out to me specifically just to tell my audience about this buy one, get one promotion. But because I have been so impressed with many of the other City Beauty products I have tried, I asked them if they would send me a couple of products from their line that I had heard really, really good things about and was just very eager to try. And those two things are the lid lifting treatment. This goes on your lids to help lift and firm your eyelids. There are very, very few products on the market that do that. I've only been using it for about two weeks, but the reviews are so good, I cannot wait to follow up with you in another couple of weeks. So everyone, 
is getting one of these in their perfectly curated makeup bag, as well as the under eye recovery eye treatment. The under eye recovery treatment is going to help brighten the look of under eye circles. It's going to smooth the appearance of fine lines and puffiness, and it uses advanced light scattering optics to instantly brighten and give that fragile skin a hydrated and smooth appearance. Now, don't think I've forgotten about sunscreen. Everybody is going to have a sunscreen in their makeup bag. Here's one of my personal favorites. It's from Innisfree. I love it for all skin types because not only does it come in at a, I think, decent price, it's non-greasy, it doesn't leave a white cast, it works beautifully under makeup. I've tried a lot of sunscreens in the past that have migrated and sort of gotten into my eyes when I'm outside sweating or squinting, so this one does not do that. What I've been loving recently though, and what I am going to be putting in everybody's curated bag, is a sunscreen primer hybrid. Here are two of my favorites, one from Charlotte Tilbury and one from Milani. The Milani has an SPF of 30, the Charlotte Tilbury has an SPF of 50. I love a multi-purpose product. And this one, unlike foundations with sunscreen in them, sunscreen with primer in it, actually is effective as a sunscreen. Now that we've gotten all of our skin prep products in the bag, we're moving on to foundations. And I'm going to be giving you two options, a lighter coverage, everyday option, and then a fuller coverage, evening or special occasion option. If you have normal to dry skin, I'm putting in your bag the Ilia Skin Tint for day and the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation for night. The Ilia Tint is going to give you very natural looking coverage, hydration. When using the skin tint, all you're looking to do is just to even out your skin tone, give it a very natural skin-like appearance, and keep your skin looking fresh and hydrated. And then the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk is going to give you just that beautiful, flawless, yet still natural looking coverage, but it's a little bit more perfected. You're basically taking your daytime look to the next level. Once again, adding a little bit more coverage without looking heavy or cakey. This also feels like a second skin. This foundation is in every makeup artist's professional kit for a reason. And if you have combination to oily skin for daytime, you're going to be getting the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. And for nighttime, the Givenchy Prism Libre Skin Caring Matte Foundation. I recently heard some disturbing news about one of my favorite foundations for oily skin of all time, which is the MAC Studio Fix Fluid. I talked about it recently in a must-haves video that I uploaded, and when people were going to the link to purchase the MAC Studio Fix Fluid, they were seeing that most of the shades were out of stock. When I went to go link the products, I didn't look to see what shades were available. I just saw that it was available on Ulta Beauty and at Macy's and on the MAC Cosmetics website, so I didn't think anything of it. But apparently, it might be getting discontinued, and that just breaks my heart. I think this is the first time that I have been in the beauty industry where I have been so devastated about a product potentially being discontinued. If they had not been discontinuing it, everybody with combination to oily skin would be getting that in their curated makeup bag. But because it might not be available that much longer, and YouTube videos often get viewed months or even years later, I'm trying my best to not recommend products that might be gone in six months. Okay, I can't believe I skipped right over two very important products. One for dry skin, one for oily skin. For dry skin, I'm giving you a glow enhancing product. Most likely, the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I know Dior has just launched a new one that comes in several different shades that is so far I'm hearing good things about. I have not tried it myself yet. Because I have oily skin, I do typically stay away from any sort of glow product because my skin glows enough on its own when my oils come through. But if you have lackluster skin and you just need some extra radiance, before you apply your foundation, you are going to add some luminosity to your skin with the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. And if you have oily skin, I am going to be giving you an oil controlling primer or a pore smoothing primer. And honestly, the primers that I would consider putting in an oily skinned person's makeup bag are both very affordable. I would either give you this one from Elizabeth Mott called Thank Me Later, 
or this one from Revlon called Power Grip. So oily skin is getting a primer, dry skin is getting a lotion. If I'm curating your makeup bag and you tell me that you have extremely dark circles, one of the things I'm going to give you is a color corrector. And I'm most likely going to give you this one from Catrice. Again, it's drugstore. There are excellent high-end options available. Now, let me backtrack. If you tell me you only want high-end in your makeup bag, I can go just high-end. What I wanted to do with this video is kind of look at everything I have, everything that I've tried, and really pull out the best of the best. And if it's a drugstore product, that pretty much means that I don't see it being necessary to purchase the more expensive option. So for that, again, I'm choosing the Catrice Color Corrector. And then for under eye concealer, everybody is getting the Natasha Denona High Glam. I just think it is one of the best concealers, especially for mature skin, out on the market. You can also use it as foundation if you wanted to. It's just got a perfect consistency, I feel. I find it to be extremely hydrating, high coverage. It is just such a fantastic concealer. So everyone is getting that. And then for powder, everyone is getting a Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Pressed Powder. If you're oily, I'm probably gonna throw in a Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Setting Powder if you want to get that extra coverage and extra shine control through your T-zone. But if you are dry, I think you'll be fine with just the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Powder. And I'm going to throw in a couple of these triangle puffs. Moving on to brows, some people have really, really good brows. Some people, even as they get older, are lucky enough to have full brows that hopefully are being taken care of with a tweezers or a professional brow shaping. And then there are people like me with very sparse, fine brows that need definition. Well, every face needs definition and ask any makeup artist and they will tell you that the brows are the frame for the face, the frame of the face. They are super, super important. I think if you've done any of those, if you've tested out any of those filters that show you different brow shapes, you take your face and then the filter kind of puts different brow shapes on you, you can clearly see that your eyebrow shape can make or break your entire look. So having a brow shape that suits your features is really, really important, keeping them well-groomed, and filling them in if necessary to give your face the most beautiful frame. Brows are also sisters, not twins. So do not feel like you have to spend hours making them completely even. 99.9% .9 of people looking at you are not going to know that your eyebrows are slightly off because theirs probably are too. So into your makeup bag is going this brow pencil from Patrick Ta. It is my favorite. It is so easy to work with. The shades are so spot on. There is a perfect shade for everyone. Because I'm not the biggest fan of his brow lamination product, I'm going to be giving you this brow freeze from Anastasia Beverly Hills to lock those brows in place all day long. Oh my goodness, I forgot something else. And I don't know how I could forget this, being that it's something that I use every single day. If you have oily eyelids, I'm giving you an eyeshadow primer. Most likely the NARS Pro Prime eyeshadow primer or the MAC eyeshadow primer. All right, we've done skin prep, foundation, concealer, corrector, sunscreen, primers, powder. So now let's talk about contour, bronzer, and highlight. Not everybody needs to contour. And if you tell me, Risa, that is a step I'm just not going to do, I'm not going to tell you you have to do it. The same thing with bronzer and highlighter. You don't have to use those two products, although of the three, contour, bronzer, and highlight, I would highly recommend the bronzer and highlighter. If you do want to use contour, if you say, Risa, I do like to contour my cheeks, my nose, I'm going to be giving you this product from Rare Beauty. It is a bronzer slash contour product. It's extremely creamy. It's extremely long wearing. You can purchase a cool tone shade if you'd like to use it more for contour. There are warmer tones if you would like to use it more as a bronzing, a cream bronzing product. And to kill two birds with one stone, I'm giving everybody a Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow Palette. You've got the perfect everyday bronzer and also the most perfect, subtle highlight. This highlight is going to give you just a very 
beautiful glowing from within look. It's going to make your cheekbones look a little bit higher. And it does that while not emphasizing large pores and fine lines on the face. I know you're going to be thanking me for this one. The front pocket of this bag is the perfect place for palettes. And the two eyeshadow palettes that are going to be in your perfectly curated bag are going to be from Makeup by Mario. One is going to be the Etherealized eyeshadow palette, and then the other one is going to be either the original Master Mattes or the new Neutral Toned Master Mattes. I truly feel that whatever skin tone you have, one of them is going to be perfect for you and you should have it in your makeup bag. And the reason why I chose the Ethereal Eyes palette is because a lot of us who have mature skin, we still like to wear some shimmer. I love to wear shimmer on my lids. And these are some of the most beautiful shimmers you can buy. I'm also throwing in a long wearing brown eyeliner. Now, if you tell me you want black, I'll give you the black. This one from Hourglass is fantastic. It's long wearing, it doesn't irritate my eyes. I have noticed that as I've gotten older, my eyes have become a lot more sensitive to a lot more things. I've had really good luck with this Hourglass pencil, and I think even if you're not going to use it as your upper eyeliner, maybe you're just going to use eyeshadow as your upper liner, or maybe you don't wear eyeliner at all, it's really great to tight line. I cannot stand the way my eyes look if I haven't tight lined underneath here. That gap, that little strip of flesh tone between the lashes and my eyes really bothers me. I have to tight line with either a brown or a black. And I just think everyone should have at least one eye pencil in their makeup bag, whether it is a brown or a black or a blue or a gray or a bronze. You gotta have at least one. And then of course I'm giving everybody a lash curler and a mascara. And for mascara, I'm going to be giving you one of the following. Either the Chanel Le Volume or the YSL Lash Clash, because remember, money is no object here. If you have very sensitive eyes and like a tubing mascara, I'm going to give you the one from Thrive or the Milani Dupe or the Lancome Idole Mascara. That one is very, very good too. And these recommendations are coming from someone with very, very puny, fine, thin, blonde eyelashes. I did have to think a while about what blush I'd be putting in this curated makeup bag. I've ultimately decided to go with one of the Patrick Ta Double Take blushes. Actually, it's called the Double Take Cream and Powder Blush. And that's the reason why I chose it, because you do get both a cream blush and a powder blush. And there is a shade in this range, or a duo in this range, for every skin tone. Honestly, these blushes come in the prettiest colors I have ever seen. And if you've looked at them in the past and thought they were a little bit too bold, I highly recommend checking out a couple of the new shades that he just launched. One is called Just Enough, and the other one is called Not Too Much, which is actually the one I am currently wearing. And I would definitely agree that it is not too much. And you know what? I'm probably going to give you two shades of that blush. A brighter one and a more natural one. So something like this, and then one of the brighter shades, depending on your skin tone. You really can't go wrong with any of them. They are just so, so pretty. Next up is lip liner. This was tough for me because I have a lot of lip liner loves. But I was trying to think of shades that are universally flattering. And I came up with two from Makeup Forever. The shade Wherever Walnut and the shade Anywhere Caffeine. And if you have darker skin from Charlotte Tilbury, Foxy Brown. Those are my recommendations. I'm currently wearing Anywhere Caffeine with City Lips Gloss in San Diego, which is honestly one of my favorite lip gloss shades of all time. I've been talking about this specific shade of City Lips Gloss for years, and I will never forget the first time I spoke about it on my channel, it was several years ago, and it must have been when my eyes first started going bad because I said the shade name was San Diego. It's Sun Diego. So in addition to the City Lips Clear Gloss, I'm also giving everyone a tinted gloss. And here are swatches of four of my favorites. 
And if you can't pick your favorite shade, that's actually not a problem because as I was telling you earlier, they are currently buy one, get one free with my code. But please keep in mind that that promo code is only good for the next couple of days through March 22nd. Of course, if you are not a lip gloss person and not everybody is, and you just want a traditional bullet lipstick, I'll most likely be giving you two shades of lipstick. One that's perfect just to swipe on for every day, and one that's a little bit brighter, one that gives you a little bit more color to your face, one that might be your perfect shade for nighttime. Perhaps you tell me you want a red, or you want a bright pink for spring, summer, or a bright coral. So the shade is going to be dependent on what you're really looking for. And then to either lock your makeup in place or to give yourself a little bit of a dewy glow at the end of your makeup application, I'm either going to be giving you the Dialba White Truffle Spray, the Caudalie Beauty Elixir, the Charlotte Tilbury Setting Spray, or the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. And now I wanna talk tools. These are all of the brushes that everyone I feel should have in their collection. Starting with a foundation brush. I'm going to give everybody the BK Beauty 101 brush. Also going to be giving everyone this It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe brush number seven that you can use for cream blush, cream contour. You can also use this for foundation. On the other side, there's a little brush to use for nose contour if you're doing that. This is just a very versatile brush that I think everyone should have, or at least something like this, but remember, Money's no object, so we're going with this one from It Cosmetics. Also from It Cosmetics is this Heavenly Luxe Angled, I think it's a powder brush. Hopefully they still make this one. If they don't, then I will link something else. But what I want everyone to have is just a big, fluffy, angled bronzer brush. A lot of bronzer brushes are not angled, and most people are fine with that. There's something about an angled bronzer brush and an angled blush brush that I just prefer. So you're getting an angled bronzer brush and as I just said, an angled blush brush. This one is from Say Me Beauty. And then everybody's going to get this brush also from BK Beauty. It is the A506 from the Angie Hot and Flashy collection. You're going to use this to blend out your concealer or apply eyeshadow primer or powder to set that eyeshadow primer or maybe you're using a concealer as your eyeshadow primer and you're just blending out the entire eye area with this brush. It is so, so good. For highlighter, I've chosen this one from Singe Beauty. It is the F06. If you're going to set your under eye concealer with a little powder, you can either use the triangular puff that I showed earlier, or I also really love this brush from the Morphe Makeup by Ariel set. If you're not going to be using the puff to apply powder to your face and you definitely wanna have a brush, this one from BK Beauty is excellent. And then these are my must-have eye brushes. The size and shape are going to be contingent on your eye size and shape. My eyes are on the smaller side and they're hooded, so I tend to like to use brushes that are smaller. They're shorter, more tapered. So for myself, my must-haves are the BK Beauty 202, the A503, the 210, the A502, and then I absolutely love this little guy from the Morphe Makeup by Ariel collection. And then here are two of my favorite sponges. I love the Stands Out sponge for either applying foundation if you're looking to get the fullest coverage possible. The sponge is amazing, but you can also use it to pat out your foundation once it's been applied with a brush, just to make sure that there are no streaks, no lines of demarcation anywhere. I've been using and promoting the sponge for years. I just cannot live without it. And then I'm also really, really loving this one from Real Techniques. And finally, if you're a glam girl like me, of course I'm putting some lashes in your bag and some lash glue, most likely, because they look good on everybody, these martini lashes that I created in collaboration with BK Beauty. And then my favorite lash glue is this one from Kiss. It is the brush on glue with aloe. So my friends, that is it. That is your bag, your perfectly curated makeup bag for mature skin. As I mentioned earlier, all of the products will be listed and linked in the description box. I will also have this fantastic bag linked. This one is more for travel because it is the large size, but if you're looking for something a little bit smaller, maybe to keep in your desk drawer at work or just have at your vanity that 
doesn't take up so much space, there are a couple of other size options. I do hope you all enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I hope that you will consider doing so. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button and you'll become a part of the Risa Does Makeup family. I do upload new content at least twice per week. You can also find more content from me over on Instagram and on TikTok. My username is the same on every platform. It's Risa Does Makeup. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope to see you in my next video.